Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a short and sweet one, at least I think it will be, because I just wanted to film a quick little shout out PSA uh, visual eye candy for this beautiful bag that you see right in front of you, the MZ Wallace Small Sutton. If you aren't very familiar with MZ Wallace I highly encourage you to get familiar because I think their brand is fantastic. Very functional, practical, weighs a feather, holds a ton. Their bags are just really excellent and I think great for both the working woman and someone who is running errands on the weekends. The bag that you see in front of you is their new hologram metallic color. They released it about two weeks ago, and as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to order it. It felt like it was right up my alley, so I needed to get this piece in front of me so I could kind of judge it for myself and see whether or not it is a keeper. And surprise, surprise, it's 100% a keeper. I mean, look at it on camera. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at the uh, rainbow colors that kind of come up when the light hits it. I have my ring light hitting the bag right now so that you can get an idea. If you are concerned about whether or not it is very loud as far as the color is concerned, I personally think it is not. Like I said, the ring light right now is aimed right at it to give you an idea of what it looks like when the colors are hitting a light source. So obviously it is targeted on it at the moment. So keep that in mind. In person, day-to-day -day running errands, I don't think it is very loud. I actually think it is a fantastic neutral, believe it or not, because it is such a subtle um, hint of color when the light hits it. And if you aren't familiar with the small Sutton, or if you haven't seen the video that I filmed on this toward the beginning of the start of my channel, this is one of my go-to bags on the weekend. It Honestly, I think I use this bag 90% of the time, if not more, when I'm running errands on the weekends. So this is now my third small Sutton. I have it in green camo. I have it in Night Storm, which was a limited edition print that um, is like the evening sky, thunderstorm navy, think navy and yellow, and now this beautiful color, hologram metallic. I think it is fantastic. I just wanted to bring it up on camera so that you can get an idea for it. Um, and if you aren't, like I said, familiar with the small Sutton before I start moving it about on camera, I will insert just the basic info as far as this bag is concerned, like length, height, um, depth, price, you know, all that, all those good details that someone would want to know if they were considering a particular bag. And I will also link in the description box below a URL that will take you directly to this bag, um, as well as a link that will take you directly to the entire hologram collection that MZ Wallace released. I believe it was nine items as well as the leather tassel that I bought to hang off this beautiful bag, which I will show you in a little bit. And I think it complements the colors that you see coming off the light beautifully. So this is what the beautiful bag looks like. I had a feeling that this video could prove helpful to someone maybe on the fence about whether or not to get this bag. Is it too loud? Is it a good neutral? I think it is a fantastic neutral. Like I've said, I think twice already, This the light is hitting it directly. And look, I mean, considering a light being directly on this print right now, the colors that are bouncing back at you aren't too much. It's not overkill. So it's a wonderful, wonderful neutral, in my opinion, with, with just a little bit of color that peeks through. And for this time of year, you know, with the holidays, with New Year's, this is, I think, so appropriate. And, you know, like typically around this time of year, I don't know, I think of colors like this. I think of glitter. Glitter can get messy. I feel like this is the next best thing to have something hologram. You look festive. You look like you're celebrating. You're having a good time. It's beautiful. And I'll bring it up close. You see here it says MZ Wallace in silver. And this is actually my first small Sutton with silver hardware. So I kind of like that I have silver hardware now in the mix for my small Suttons. And, uh... The bottom here will show you. It says MZ Wallace, the diamond right there, the little feet that will honey over time. If you're not familiar with this type of untreated leather, it will get darker over time. Similar to the way Louis Vuitton has their um, Vachetta or Vachetta. I don't know. I hear it pronounced different ways, so forgive me. I don't, I kind of 
go between Vaquetta and Vachetta when I think about it, to be honest. And the top here with the leather handles and then get ready for it, everyone. Boom. Beautiful, beautiful bright yellow lining. Like how fantastic is that? MZ Wallace has been doing this, um, you know, contrasted lining in the past. Whatever the color was of the exterior was also the interior. Now that might have been fun in there. It might have been a bit of a optical illusion, but I'm loving, I'm loving, 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 loving the contrasted color and the yellow in here. I mean, it's just like you open up into sunshine, into happiness. Like, how can you, how can you not see that and just be like, yay, life is good. I'm happy. Look at this. It's just, it's just bright and light and happy. And with every bag, well, I shouldn't say every, cause I think there are some exceptions. I know there are actually, you've got this beautiful hologram pouch and I'm not going to do it now on camera because if you saw again, my video on the small Sutton where I did the whole thorough uh, video, all the dimensions, all the mod shots, this bag, if you fold this, it'll fit into this bag. So it is great when you're traveling. You can, you know, make it compact, throw it in your carry-on, and you've got a bag option with you that takes up little to no space in your carry-on. And if you aren't using it at the time, obviously, to house the bag, you can use this for whatever you want. I don't know what you would want to stuff in here. Truth be told, I let mine fall to the bottom of my bag when I carry it. I don't use it. It is um, kind of, I guess, just in there as a, a 911 emergency um, type of pouch if need be. I have yet to use it for anything really beyond its purpose of putting the bag, this bag, into it when traveling. But I love that we have it and that it comes with it and that it is a nice option um, just in case you need another bag, you know, while you're running your errands. Um, I'm trying to think what else. This is a very impromptu video. It just kind of came to me that this might be a good video to film in case someone was considering this bag and it's just, I mean, I can't recommend it enough. Um, as you saw in the thumbnail of the video, the picture that I actually used for the thumbnail was the, again, another impromptu image I decided to take of this bag with my Swell water bottle because thanks to my mother, hi mom, if you're watching this video, it matches my Swell bottle. Like, of course I was gonna like the bag. It didn't even dawn on me. My mom <laughs> pointed it out that, hey, your new bag matches your you know, swell bottle. And I'm like, you are a hundred percent correct. So when I was out and about running errands, like I said, over the weekend, you know, I, it felt like I wanted to take a picture of the pair together. And that ended up being the thumbnail I used for this particular video. Um, I, I really, I can't speak highly enough of this, let alone the style, but the, um, this particular print as well. And um, if I didn't say it already, I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked because I'm just so giddy and happy with this purchase. I will link the video that I made of the small Sutton at the end of this video so that you can watch it. And I will actually um, throw up a card. I think that's what they call it up here that will link you directly to that small Sutton in case you have seen enough and you're like, I love this bag, but I wanna learn more about the style. Um, you can also watch it if you follow the link that will pop up right there for you. Now what I'm going to do is show you the beautiful leather tassel that I mentioned that I purchased to complement this bag. It's coming on camera. It's coming. There it is. Look at this beautiful, beautiful leather tassel. Look at all the colors. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Look at that. All the colors. All the colors. It's just, I mean, red. What is that? Like a fuchsia. Uh, orangey, rusty color, yellow, green, blue, purple, and I think, you know, in some lights that looked a little brown right now, it's looking a little more pewter in color to me. Just, I mean, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And if you see it setting against the bag, it's just such a lovely compliment. When they released this collection on the MZ Wallace website, they had, I believe it was their Micro Sutton. One of the images of the Micro Sutton had this tassel attached to it. I'm like, sold. I will buy the small Sutton and attach it. I think it's fantastic. I kind of have deviated away from tassels. I had a bunch of MZ Wallace, not just tassels, but charms for bags. And I sold pretty much all of them. Um, I just, I kind of fell into the fad of wanting them and liking them on my bags and then didn't. So I sold them all, but this one, I just thought, I mean, you, I, you can't not, I think it's beautiful, beautiful. So just give me one second. I will do this 
right on camera for you guys so you can see how easy it is to attach it to the bag. And there you have it. Beautiful. I mean, need I say more? Look how gorgeous that is. I mean, if that doesn't scream Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, you know, all, all the good things for this time of year, I don't know what does. It's just, it's beautiful. And as you know, you have this top handle here. You've got this uh, strap right here for crossbody. And I purely, you know, 80% of the time I would say put it as a crossbody, 80, 90. The only reason I kind of give it a lower percentage, and yes, for me, that is a low percentage, is because... Every once in a while, when I'm when I'm getting out of the car and running to, into a store, I'll grab it by these handles, only kind of as long as it would take me to get into the store and then get it thrown over my shoulder as a crossbody style. I can't sing the praises of the MZ Wallace Small Sutton enough, you guys. It's just, it's a great bag. And then now on top of it with this hologram, perfect for this time of year. I highly, highly recommend it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm, I'm just super, super happy with this purchase. Um, every time I look at it, every time I grab it, it just makes me happy. And I hope that if you are on the fence about this bag and not just this bag, because I think you know where I stand with this bag, it is fan freaking tastic, but this particular new print, I hope this video kind of leads you toward the, this is amazing. I must have it in my life type reaction because, um, that's certainly how I feel about it. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Do you like this hologram print? Do you not? Um, do you have any questions for me about the print? You know, oh, I think this might be a good question that might come up. Full disclosure, I do not like MZ Wallace's lacquer fabric that they use for some of their Suttons and, and Oxford bags. Um, it feels too plasticky and, uh, you know, respectfully, I feel like it looks a little cheap. I don't love it. Um, so that was one of my concerns when it came to ordering this bag, like, oh dear, is it going to be like the lacquer feel? It is not. Um, it's maybe like a distant cousin. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's like lacquer, the lacquer bothers me. This doesn't. So I think there is a little bit of a difference between the lacquer fabric that they use um, on their Oxford bags that are that are lacquer versus this new hologram uh, metallic. So if that was something that was a concern of yours, if you're like me and just aren't too much of a fan of the lacquer, they are not the same, not in my opinion at least, um, because I probably wouldn't have kept it if it felt the way the lacquer does between my hands. So just let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this beautiful bag. Um, if you have any other questions that perhaps I didn't address, um, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. It takes two seconds. It's, I think, right around there when it comes to the video. But more importantly, right over here on this side of the video screen, there's a red button. It says subscribe. I highly encourage you to do it. If you enjoy these types of videos of MZ Wallace, MZ Wallace is my jam. I love this brand. Um, but if you also love Chanel, Louis, if you love food, if you love makeup, you're going to want to hit that button that's down there because I talk about all the things. I just try to highlight different topics each week that are just kind of on the forefront of my brain at that particular time. So you will get a variety. It won't be, you know, oh, always MZ Wallace or always Chanel. No, I, I'm, I guess all over the board <laughs> for lack of a better um, expression. So you'll get a bunch of different topics covered here. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it that thumbs up over here. Hit that subscribe button over there because I'd love to have you back and joining me on the future videos that I do post on my channel. So thank you so much for watching this uh, quick impromptu PSA for the amazing MZ Wallace hologram metallic print. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.